Trump just had a jaw-dropping detail to his first White House Christmas card that has haters screaming mad. Throughout his two terms in office, Barack Hussein Obama did everything in his power to further the mission of our enemies while tearing down the very fabric that made America great. Whether it was hollowing out our military to pre-World War II capabilities, inviting Muslim terrorists to the White House to dine, or putting our greatest enemies on a path to nuclear weapons, Obama's treasonous antics truly knew now bounds. As a head nod to the Muslim community, Obama's war on Christmas was constantly on full display, where he throw lavish Ramadan festivities at the White House, but completely ignore the Christian celebration of Christmas whenever the holiday season rolled around. But thankfully, the war on Christians that defined the Obama presidency is now over with and is being replaced by a wonderful new tradition that President Trump has just brought to the White House. In addition to his vow to make America great, one of Trump's promises on the campaign trail was to bring Christmas back to the White House, pledging last October that, if elected, we're gonna be saying Merry Christmas at every store. Now Trump is making good on that promise with the stark contrast that everyone immediately noticed with the first annual Christmas card that was unveiled Monday as part of his and First Lady Melania's White House Christmas decorations. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, the card stated, with signatures at the bottom of the first family, including 11-year-old Baron Trump. With many people believing that Hussein Obama was secretly a Muslim, it was always extremely suspicious how Christmas was conveniently edited from his and Michelle's Christmas cards for the past eight years. The inclusion of the word Christmas in the first family's Christmas card is in stark contrast to former President Barack Obama's Christmas cards, Western journalism reported. The word Christmas was absent on all eight of the Obama's annual Christmas cards, much to the frustration of social conservatives. Western journalism went on. Happy Holidays, the Obama's 2016 card read. As our family reflects on our many happy years spent in the White House, we are grateful for the friends we've made, the joy we've shared, and the gifts of kindness we've received. We wish you and your loved ones a joyous holiday season and a wonderful new year. Former Republican vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin took issue with the Obamas' refusal to mention Christmas in their 2016 card. Every inch of the White House is decorated with Christmas, with trees lighting up every single hallway and room at the Trump's home. Lif ISI News reported. Gone were the season's greetings that the Obama family placed on their Christmas cards. The Trump family's official Christmas card reads, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The dominant color scheme is an old-school red, green and gold. And the official hashtag? This year, visitors to the White House will find a tribute to our service members and their families with the Gold Star family tree, which has been decorated with gold stars and patriotic ribbon, the First Lady's office explained of this year's decorations. Next, the China Room is set up for a family Christmas dinner, with the table displaying the China from President Ronald Reagan. Then. Visitors will see the library, which features President Franklin D. Roosevelt's 1866 edition of A Christmas Carol, as they recall the time-honored custom of reading Christmas stories to loved ones. There are rooms and halls filled with cookies, Christmas trees, crafts, and classic decorations. The White House gingerbread house this year is a mini-replica of the actual building. The 350-pound luxury treat shows the south facade of the White House and features Mrs. Trump's signature Christmas wreaths. Children visiting the White House this year repeatedly told Melania, wearing a white dress, that she looked like an angel. It's so wonderful to finally have a president in office who truly represents America's values and doesn't exist for the sole mission of furthering the Islamic agenda.